For breaking news, go to itdisketimes.co.za. It is going to be powered by World Sports Betting, itdisketimes.co.za. Kaiser Chiefs are out of the Carling Blake label. Cup knockout tournament. Amazulu win it uh, just on the stroke of full time. Uh, Tarek Phillips taking matters into his own hands. Um, and scoring. And if he hadn't scored, we were probably going to go to penalties, really. Um, that's how uh, much of a bore that game was, to be genuinely honest. Um, well done to Amazulu. They go through to the next round. Uh, Kick and Dolly being voted by, voted by fans as the man of the match. Chucks and Chucks, uh, yet another trophy. Um, usually you say, uh, let's forget about the league. Let's focus on, uh, sometimes, or let's focus on MTN. Let's focus on NetBank. Let's focus on Culling Knockout. So this one is one that's out of the way now. The only thing you have that could, you could possibly win this season is the NetBank Cup. What do you feel about the game, sir? What do you feel about the game, sir? I'm going to talk about the game. I'm going to talk about the game. Yes, man. Um, what a game of football, indeed. Uh, I always say in the game that, uh, yes, we should focus on the you know, other trophies. Uh, except uh, DSTV Premiership, yes. Um, For what a game! Yeah, what a game of football! Uh, 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 disappointing, my friend. Uh, disappointing. Amazulu against Kiza Chiefs. Yes, we did well against Amazulu the previous game, three nil. But uh, coming to today's game, Gulugs, uh, you know, cup games should always be different from league games. Uh, cup games must uh, must be above league games. But I'm disappointed in both sides. Amazulu, even though they won a uh, one nil, yes, congratulations to them. They are going through. But uh, um, the two teams didn't come to the party. Um, Suppose that go that went to, uh, to FMB to go and watch football. I hopefully uh, also they are very very disappointed. Uh, disappointed uh, might be an understatement, but uh, also on the side of Amakosi. Uh, I don't know how, how to express ourselves. Uh, even the players that we have uh, at the moment, the squad that uh, we select and just to go on the field of play to do the job. Um, I'm not sure uh, if they realize what they are playing for. Uh, I'm not sure if they know uh, the jersey that they are wearing. Uh, that is why the reaction of the supporters always like that. You know, uh, as we are trying to st calm the supporters down, to say, guys, uh, calm down. Uh, let's give them a chance because they've spoken about the process. Uh, sometimes, you know, talk about the process uh, from level one, you must go to level two, level two to level three. You might go, you might jump to level four and go to level five. But uh, I've told you about the kids chief that I've been watching that. Uh, you might believe that they are, they've arrived. But I'm fortunate, uh, and Guluk say, uh, I always say, say to, uh, even here at the TV that you know what, uh, you, 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 you might think that you have arrived, but meantime, we are not. Uh, we are going back and forth. We are still uh, on the same level that we were uh, in before. So, disappointing, Guluk say, even, even, I mean, even uh, the players that we have uh, today on the field of playing, Guluk you can. Uh, Let's start from the defense. Uh, the Togwe and also um, is the Togwe and, and, and Novo. No communication. No communication. Kune is there. Yes, uh, Kune is always talking. Uh, even made some, at least uh, he, he saved us as well. Uh, but he's always communicating. But are they communicating? I mean, there was some other ball that, you know, they were all watching and also the one that Kune saved as well. I mean, I mean it, it could have resulted in a goal or something like that. So coming to the midfield, you, you, I mean, you've got um, Tetra, you've got um, Matlo and Matt. No connectivity, nothing. No one wants to go and collect the ball and make sure that uh, there should be a player that always collect the ball and make sure that he pass the ball to, uh, to uh, not, not to his opponent, pass the ball to your colleagues on the field of play. Nothing. Chivaviro is there, my friends. I, I, I I'm still have to see the Chivaviro that we saw playing again, uh, uh, for, for Marumu Galans. Nothing whatsoever. Any, I don't know why any player that comes to Giza is a change is a change player. Absolutely. I don't know why. He has some title. Absolutely. I mean, we're hyping him. Just look at him when he is alone. Urusibi Paola, what does he do in that moment? I can't believe it. I, 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 
I understand, uh, and I was worried about this, will he have players to combine with? But just look at him when he receives it alone. What does it do with that ball? Does it know? Because usually the best aspect or the best quality of the best midfielder is the time you receive it, you know where he's going. Anticipation, yeah. You're a receiver, you already know where you're taking that ball. But yeah, and like, like it's confusing him. What, what am I going to do with this ball? He ends up giving it away. It's too early, but there, there is nothing that he's showing which is going to be a good player going forward. Um, in the interest of time, checks, I just want to um, focus on your coach now. Um, I, I, I want to find out from you, where does that club go from here? Because in as, you can ask for people to be patient, but here's the risk. You can say the management must stay with them until, <coughs> until the end of the season, if that's your opinion. How are they going to make sure he is safe every time he loses a game of football? So those are the two things that are f staring at you. If you don't want to fire him today, tonight, how are you going to make sure he's safe at Golden Arrows or in the Derby on the 11th of November or any other game in between and after? Because every single time he loses, the fans uh, want to attack him. What do you think generally is going to happen with your coach looking at the events that happened tonight and the events that happened before? And you are on the verge of a suspension. Any, any more of this fan... Uh, behavior, um, you're going to be suspended, like you're going to play behind closed doors. So what do you think genuinely, from the bottom of your heart, what's going to happen with that coach? Yeah, it's going to be very difficult, but before I touch the coach, let me congratulate the Proteas. Sure. They did very well, class N, you know, well played. Good luck to the boss. And, and good luck as well to the, to, to the, the Springbok. Uh, hopefully we'll beat England ag uh, again. So Nguluk, come into the coach, uh, Nzegi. Uh, my friend, uh, it's tough. It's going to be tough. Uh, I'm not sure what the decision will, uh, will be especially to the management. But if I was in the shoes of the management, I would say take a little bit, just a step a little bit aside, let the team continue. I think what does that mean? I'm not talking about firing at the moment. Uh, in the next game against uh, Golden Arrows, because uh, you know what, uh, we fear more, we fear more. For, I mean, you could even see, Nzegi didn't even do interview. Uh, I, I mean, what Carol said is uh, it was shocking on our side as well. I mean, it's obvious. only Amazulu called that did an interview, but in Zegi nowhere to be found. It means there was something wrong. The, but the camera didn't show us, but there was something wrong in Gulik's day in FNB Stadium. So, to make, not to make matters worse, uh, they must just say to Nzegi, go on the grandstand at the moment, uh, let the team go. But even if you say Nzegi must go on the grandstand, who's going to coach? Maybe you want to bring uh, uh, Gavin, Gavin Johnson because you can't put uh, Athazwani and Dylan Shepard to take over again because they come from that. It, it, uh, they, I mean, this is what is the same movie that you saw before. Though you, you can't put Athazwani and say Dylan Shepard, they must continue with air coaching. So now it's, it's very, very difficult. It's going to be very, very tough decision to take for, from the management. But if I was the management, I would say they get listed. You uh, mustn't sit on the bench on the game against Eros. Allow the team to continue on its own because it's dangerous. I'm not saying the Sabaras must react to what they're saying. You're placing him on some sort of special leave. Uh, I would say yes, Nguluk. Uh, just, just, just for now, he must just take a break a little bit. Uh, let the team continue. If they want to bring him back, I don't have a problem. Let them bring. But at the moment, Kuluxi, uh, I mean, it's calling. It's unsafe. Uh, yeah, it's it's unsafe and also unsafe to, uh, to a technical team as well. So it's tough for management, uh, but it's also tough for the supporters. You know, it's tough for us as well to say, uh, let them take, uh, let let them allow Nzegi to go and uh, and be on the bench against against Colin Eros. But Kuluxi, all in all, disappointing. Sabaras, uh, we are here and we'll continue to support Kiza Chiefs, but tough this year, tough, uh, uh, you know, uh, set the results for, uh, against Amazul. We'll see what happens going forward. Right. There you go. It is good time. It is good time. Thank you for watching us.